Good day, Grade 12. Welcome to this first lesson in Week 17, looking at chemical equilibrium. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at KC and going through some exam type questions. Right, Grade 12. Let's look at our first example. We are given that two hydrogen iodide goes to hydrogen plus iodine, and we are told the equilibrium constant for the forward reaction is 0, 0,02 at 725 kilo. Kelvin in a one decimeter cube container. At equilibrium, it is found that we have 0 0.04 moles of hydrogen iodide is present in the container. It says calculate the concentration of hydrogen at equilibrium. And then it says calculate the equilibrium constant of the reverse reaction. Okay, we'll worry about that later. Let's do this bit first, okay? So we know that Kc is the concentration of the products, the concentration of the products over the concentration of the reactants, okay? And in that case, that is going to be the products in this case are hydrogen and iodine. So it's going to be the concentration of the hydrogen, concentration of the iodine over the concentration of the reactants, which is your hydrogen iodide. That's the concentration of them. And remember, whatever that number is in front, comes to the power, so it becomes squared. So that is your case in that case. In this case, we are told that this constant is 0, 0, 0,02. 0, 0,02. And it says at equilibrium, it is found that you got 0 0.04 moles of hydrogen iodide is present in the container. Calculate the concentration of the hydrogen. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have to use a table. Now, grade 12, there are lots of different ways to label this table. I use SUMEC, which is start. I'll show you what I mean by this in a minute. Used. Made. Equilibrium. I'm not going to write out the whole word and obviously concentration, which I put in square brackets. So if you see, if you look at the first letters, it got S-U-M-E-C. So I tend to call this the SUMEC table, the SUMEC table. But there's a lot of people that use Shrek, for example, which is start, change, um, equilibrium, concentration. It doesn't matter. The whole point is as long as you've got a table that you're using and you understand. And what we are going to be doing is using this table to understand what is happening to our reactants and products during the reaction and until they reach the final state. Okay, so what does it say? It says that at equilibrium, we've got 0 0.04 moles of hydrogen iodide. So we've got 0, 0, 0,04 moles of hydrogen iodide. And it says calculate the concentration of the hydrogen. So what we want is X. Okay, the concentration. Now, the nice thing is, remember that in order to get concentration, concentration is number of moles over volume. But in this case, the volume is 1. Therefore, whatever this concentration is, we're taking the concentration, we're timesing it by 1 to get the number of moles at equilibrium. So, therefore, this is going to be X as well. Right, now, what do we need to realize? We need to realize that since they don't tell us otherwise, we have start with zero hydrogen and zero iodine, okay? We obviously haven't used up any of that. And we have made, if we ended up with X hydrogen over here, then obviously we made X hydrogen. Now, the ratio of hydrogen to iodine is 1 to 1, which means if we made X moles of hydrogen, we must have made X moles of iodine. And therefore, we ended up with X moles at equilibrium. And finally, that means that we have X moles per unit volume. In other words, because our concentration has to be X because the volume is 1. Right. Now let's look at our hydrogen iodide. Obviously, we didn't make any hydrogen iodide, okay, but we did use up hydrogen iodide to the point of it being, what did we use up? We used up X. So obviously, we started with um, X. No, we used, sorry. Yeah, we started with 
x plus 0, 0, 0,4. Right. And obviously our concentration over here is going to be 0, 0, 0,4 divided by 1, which is 0, 0, 0, 0,4. So we can use this here in this formula to find out what our concentration of hydrogen is at equilibrium. So let's do that. We've got 0, 0, 0, 0,2, which is our value for Kc, is the concentration of hydrogen, the concentration of iodine, all over the concentration of hydrogen iodide, all squared. So the concentration of hydrogen we know is x, okay. The concentration of iodine is also x, remember because concentration number of moles of volume is 1 to 1 ratio, so that's x. The concentration of hydrogen iodide they gave us, it was 0, 0, 0,04. They gave us the number of moles, but remember the volume is 1. And don't forget to square this. And this all equals 0, 0, 0, 0,02. So we're going to then take this across to the left-hand side. And therefore we've got 0, 0, 0, 0,02 multiplied by 0, 0, 0, 0,04 all squared is equal to x times x, where x times x is x squared. So we pop out our calculator and get 0 0.02 times 0 0.04 squared is going to give us 3.2 times by 10 to the negative 5 is x squared. And then we square root our answer and we get that x is equal to 5 comma 6x times by 10 to the negative 3, and that is the concentration. So that's moles, moles per decimeter cubed of both the hydrogen and therefore the iodine. So that there is our concentration at the end at equilibrium. Okay, not too difficult, hey? Admittedly, it seems difficult. You need to think it through. And remember, grade 12s always let whatever they want us to find out be x and then work backwards from that. And then just take it baby steps. Now let's look at the next part of the question. The next part of the question says, calculate the equilibrium constant for the reverse reaction. Okay, do you agree for the reverse reaction? Kc is going to be, for the reverse reaction, is going to be hydrogen iodide squared over hydrogen over iodine but do you agree from this year we know that inverse of this is equal to 0 comma 0 2 therefore this has to be equal to 1 over 0 comma 0 2 so we can just pop it in our calculator we can go 1 divided by 0 0.02 And we end up with 50. So therefore, the Kc for the reverse reaction is 50. So you can understand that you don't actually have to um, do this whole calculation as long as you understand that at equilibrium, the, in the equilibrium constant is just going to be the inverse of what you worked out for the forward reaction. Okay, great. 12s, please make sure you understand how to do this. The best thing to do is go and try this again by yourself without actually, so pause it when the example comes up, try and solve it for yourself, and then go through the solutions with when I'm doing it with you, and then see how you did. Okay, um, let's do another example. Right, let's do example two. Initially, 0.92 moles of N2O4 gas is sealed in a two decimeter cube container and heated to 100 degrees Celsius. At equilibrium, it is found that 20.7% of the N2O4 gas has decomposed to NO2 gas. Calculate the equilibrium constant for this reaction. Okay. So I don't know if you guys know this, but N2O4 and, N2, and NO2 are basically just the same gas, but the one is compressed and the other one isn't, depending on whether it's been heated up or cooled down or if it's been compressed or expanded. So there is a reverse reaction that goes N2O4 is in dynamic equilibrium, usually with 2 NO2. Okay. But in this case, they tell us that initially, 
we have got 0.92 ml sealed in a two decimeter container. So as soon as I see this, I'm going to do my table even if I don't need it in the end, but let's just do it. So we got start. Okay. Used, made, equilibrium and concentration and remember we need the concentrations because the kc uses concentrations in the expression in this case the kc is going to be the concentration of no2 all squared all over n 4 okay that's the concentration remember the concentration is number of moles over volume so what i teach my students is immediately if we have a volume that's different from two i immediately write divided by two divided by two and all the, at all the blocks that have concentration so that i don't forget to divide by two which would just be a silly thing to do and you lose marks okay so it says initially we've got naught comma nine two moles of n 4 which means obviously that means we got zero oh that's a horrible color let's try another one we got zero of no2 right then it says at equilibrium it is found that 20.7 percent of the n 4 gas has decomposed to no2 so what do we need to do we need to find 20.7 percent of 0.92 so we're going to go 20 comma seven percent of naught comma nine two if you don't have to know how to do that on calculator using percentages it's really just going to be 20 comma seven over 100 times by naught comma nine two okay so it's 0 0.207 times 0 0.92 okay so that means that it's composed to 902 um, to NO2. So what we have is 0, 0,19 moles is changed to equilibrium. Okay, has become that. That means we made 0, 0,19. We obviously didn't use this. And therefore we've used up 0, 0,19 moles of our N204, which means we can say 0 0.92 minus 0 0.19. At equilibrium, we've still got 0, 0,73 moles of our N2 O4 gas, okay? Right, so then we need to do what? We haven't finished because we need the KC, and KC uses concentrations. So in order to do that, we need to divide our moles at equilibrium by 2 to get our concentrations. So we've got 0, 0,73 divided by 2, which is going to give us 0, 0,365. And remember, we always use two decimal places. So that becomes 0, 0,37. That's our concentration. That's a 37, by the way, 7. And then we've got 0, 0.19 divided by 2, which is going to be, so that's 0, 0,19 and this is actually 0, 0, 0,95 which rounds up because that rounds up to that it becomes 0, 0,1 and now we need to take these numbers and substitute them into our KC so we can say right KC is equal to the concentration of NO2 which is 0, 0,1 so it's 0, 0,1 squared over the concentration of N204, which is 0, 0,37. And then we pop it in our calculator. So we got 0 0.1 squared equals divided by 0 0.37. And that becomes 0, 0, 0, 0,27. 7, 0, 0,0 to 7. So equilibrium constant Kc for this reaction is 0, 0, 0 to 7. And a typical exam question, grade 12, is then to ask you, what does this mean? And what I would say is that this reaction is not very good. It hasn't given us a lot of NO2. It's the equilibrium is lying very much to the left, or you could say that there are not many products being produced. Okay, please, grade 12s, go practice these questions, go practice and make sure you understand them, and then go do the assessment in the 2Enable system and make sure you can do those questions. Have a great day.